Hi, it's Marty back from uh, MBMRC. I just wanted to touch base real quick. I said I would take pictures of the Sky Ranger when I got it done and covered. There it is. It's a Sunday, didn't have anything else to do. Started covering this thing about eight o'clock this morning. It's now about five after five and it's completely done. Wanted to point out, I made the uh, rib base clear. I wanted to show off Mark uh, from Old School Models, uh, fine laser cutting work in there. And I also use transparent on the wing. You can see the wing tubes inside of it. And uh, did a little bit of a unique color scheme with it. I, I like it a lot. All right, welcome back to another video here from MBMRC. I do want to point out just real quick that we are not affiliated or sponsored by uh, Old School Model Works in any way, shape, or form. Uh, also, before the video begins here and the review begins, please do not be afraid to click like. Uh, also, subscribe and click that little notification bell there next to the subscribe button so you guys get notified every time we put a new video up. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. See ya. Here we are with Marty with his old school model works Sky Ranger 40. He's actually had it up a couple times, but I haven't been here to film it, so seems like he likes it. What uh what engine you got in this? 46 AX OF. How's it pulling? Has it got enough? Oh yeah. <laughs> Looks like it rolls nice. About how long did it take you to build the kit? About a week. They said that this plane wouldn't knife it. Looks like it does it to me. Yeah. It'll roll really slow. You can do it as slow as you want. I got the rudder race on low too. <laughs> That covering job looks pretty unique. How did you uh, do that? You paint those ribs on the inside there? I didn't. I had Matthew do it. But yeah, they're painted. It's been up here a while. I'm going to bring her in here to see her on approach. Outstanding flying airplane. I would say it's a cross like between a big stick and a four star. Oh, those are two really good planes. That's the best way I could describe it. You said it took you about a week to build it? Yep. Yeah, the OS46 is definitely a good choice for it. I wouldn't even be afraid to put a 55AX on it. It pulls it unlimited vertical. It'll do anything you want to do. Really, really solid airplane. The uh, times before that you flew it, 
it was a little breezy and it actually handled the wind better than I think than a four star does. Oh, it definitely handles the wind much better than a four star. The airfoil is a little thicker on it, which surprised me that it did handle it that well, but it, it really did. Didn't Real take, solid build. Didn't take any lead, I don't think, did it? No, it took it absolutely no weight. The only thing is, I'm having trouble with the hatch wanting to blow off, so that's why I have a rubber band around it. Okay. I did have it blow off once, and fortunately, we found it. But, uh... Now, yeah. I know on the Robin Hood, he gave you the choice between magnets and thumb screws. Is it the same thing with this, or was it magnet only? I, You know what? I don't really know. It, and was, uh, it was magnet only because uh, it has formers in it. There's, oh, okay. There's no place. I mean, you could... It, you could modify it, I guess. You could probably put a block or something in there and thread it in, but... Uh... <clears throat> the only thing I would do different if I were building it glow again, I would change that front front end. I would probably make that, because I'm a scratch builder, I'd probably make that front end out of solid block, or I would sheet it. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with what he did. It's definitely light, and it's definitely plenty strong enough, um, and it does go with the turtle deck structure. I like that. Um, the guy builds stuff he designed it to last uh, his stuff is if you there's no reason to ever crash this airplane it's so solid and so stable you should have it a lifetime he designed that airframe it'll, it'll take a pound and I have put it through its paces um, it's a plane that will literally last forever as long as you don't bust it up yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. It looks real good in the air. It looks like it flies well. And you comparing it to a four-star and a big stick, I mean, those are two really good flying airplanes. So. It's definitely more stable than a uh, four-star in the wind. Yeah. Uh, the four-star is a really stable airplane. It is. And I won't take that away from it. But, yeah, it, the big stick is really good in the wind. You know yeah, that. You've yeah. got them. And, uh, yeah, it's got that characteristics along with the smooth slowness of a uh, four-star 40 or... And this called for a six ounce, right? It called for six ounce, and we managed to get an eight ounce squeezed in. If there. you want to put an eight ounce in it, if you want to fly it longer, the uh, hatch. What I did is I just carved off the Dremel a little bit on that center uh, former there, especially the solvent tank. It's got the bubble on the top of it. Mm -hmm. So I think the round tank would probably actually fit in there better than any other fuel tank would be a solvent round tank, but. Uh, that's how you can modify that to put a bigger tank in. I think eight, eight ounces is about as big as you can go. Okay. You know, the one thing I would want to say to people, if they're going to do something like this and they're going to go glow with it, make sure you spend the extra money and get a good, reliable engine, uh, like an OS, a Super Tiger. And you can find them on eBay used. I mean, if you don't have the money to buy a brand new 46AX, there's a lot of inexpensive ways you can go at it. But just get something that's reliable. That's yep. all. That keeps you having, from having bad experiences. That is true. So, all right. Well, it's a good looking plane, and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, a couple people think about picking this thing up. There'll be a link in the description below for where you can pick this thing up. Thanks a lot.